circuit show, pushes his face up to the crowd to the very first row, little girl in a red dress recognized the vocalist and he asked her, what's that they're doing? She said that's a twist, and he shook his head, he rolled his eyes and he made a mental note, he went back to the dressing room and he sat down and he wrote a dirty song for the Midnighters, add to the show, made up a dance for the guys for when they got back to the Apollo. Back in New York on a bill with Little Willie John, Big Mama Thornton, Bo Diddley and Dinah Washington. Hank signaled the Midnighters the flick of his wrist. They drove the crowd crazy and they started doing the twist. Teardrops on my letter was the name of the song. The B-side was the twist, and it didn't take very long for the rhythm and blues disc jockeys of the day to figure out which side of the record to play. Hank got a lot of miles out of the song and the dance, but a young Dick Clark wasn't about to take a chance. Found himself a hack, called him Chubby Checker. Pulled his finger out of the pie with the number one hit record. Piece of crap. A decidedly inferior copy of Hank Ballard's masterpiece, The Twist. Now up until this time, rock and roll had consisted of Elvis, Little Richard, Chuck Berry, Fats Domino, Bo Diddley. I'm not going to tell you this was the beginning of crooks in the music business, but it had become very big business. You know any of those crooks, Billy? Hank Ballard and I sat in a motel in Greenville, South Carolina, smoking pot one night. According to Hank Ballard, he said, Billy, I was laying by the pool in North Miami Beach, listening to the radio. The twist came on and he said, hot damn, I got a new Cadillac. And he said, then I heard him say the guy's name and it was Chubby, motherfucking Checker. So ever since then, every time I hear Chubby, I can't help but think of Hank Ballard and Chubby, motherfucking Checker. But he told me the good thing about it was, he said, I didn't make a whole lot, but I made some good underwear money. I thought, underwear money? He said, yeah, that's money you don't even have to put on your pants to get. Walk down to the mailbox in your underwear. Thank you, chubby motherfucking checker. You need to know that the song, The Twist, by the time Chubby Checker's ugly record came out, all the publishing belonged to a bunch of crooks. His record was on Cameo Parkway, an ugly orange and yellow label from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 50% of it was owned by the Mafia. That was the good 50%. Dick Clark on the other 50%. Now there have been crooks in rock and roll since there's been rock and roll. Long there have been whores and cocaine, there's been shenanigans in the music business. But now we have Bobby Rydell, Fabian, and my least favorite of all, Frankie Avalon. I 
I still worry about what Frankie Avalon was doing with Annette. I hate Frankie Avalon. It could have been the end of rock and roll as we knew it. But there's something that Dick Clark, that ugly crook, had not thought of. The British invasion. The Beatles and their friends brought us back Arthur Alexander and Bo Diddley. And the Beatles, just like Elvis before them, never went on American Bandstand. People ask me now, don't you feel bad? Can't you give up the ghost? The old guy's dead. No, I can't give it up. Once a year, every year, I have to turn on television and see Dick Clark's rockin' New Year's Eve. Son of a bitch is dead. What kind of rockin' New Year's Eve is it? I told you I hate Dick Clark. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Take me by the little hand. It goes like this. Come on, twist. And that part of the story is true, by the way.